Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Here's a fun puzzle that went viral on social media. You have a flatbed trailer and you have boxes that are stacked on top of it. From the side, you can see three different rows of boxes. There's a row of seven boxes, then a row of six boxes is stacked on top, and then a row of four boxes is stacked on top. From the back view, you can see a grid of three by three boxes and from the top view, you can see a rectangle of three by seven. The question is, how many boxes are there? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. At first glance, this puzzle seems pretty straightforward. From the side view, we can see the bottom layer has a row of seven boxes. Then looking at the back view, we see that this goes three boxes deep. We can also see this in the top view. So the bottom layer is seven multiplied by three, which equals 21 boxes. Then from the side view, we can see the layer above it has a row of six boxes. We then look at the back view and this seemingly goes three layers deep. This is confirmed in the top view. So the next layer must be six multiplied by three, which equals 18 boxes. Finally, the top layer on the side view will be four boxes. If we take this three boxes deep, this will be four multiplied by three, which equals 12 boxes. Adding these all up together, we get 51 boxes. And that seems to be the answer. But wait, is there any other possible solution? Is there any other way we can rearrange the boxes to get the side view, the back view, and the top view to look like this? It turns out, yes. We're going to show you that you can actually obtain any solution between 31 boxes and 51 boxes. So in order to understand that, let's move this problem into a three-dimensional model. This screen shows four views of the same three-dimensional object. In the upper left view, we have an isometric view. The other three views correspond to the views of the puzzle. We have a side view, then we have a back view, and then we have a top view. The first thing we will do is we will build up the 51 boxes solution. Let's start out by putting boxes on the bottom layer. In my opinion, you have to completely fill out the bottom layer with boxes. This will provide a base for the boxes on top of it. You can't just have boxes floating in the air or boxes that are glued together. So let's start out by placing boxes on this bottom layer and let's completely fill up the boxes so that the side view is filled. We have seven boxes here, but we're going to need two more rows of this. So just behind it, we'll put another row of seven boxes. And finally behind that, we will put another row of seven boxes. So the bottom layer is completely filled and we have 21 boxes here. So let's do the same thing for the layer of boxes just above it. We're going to start out with a row of six boxes. Then we're going to need a row of six boxes in the middle, just behind that. And finally, we will need one more row of six boxes just behind that. That's the second layer completely filled with boxes. That's 18 more boxes. So let's start out by putting a row of four boxes on the top layer. We then need a row of four boxes behind that. And we will complete the solution with four more boxes. This illustrates the 51 boxes solution. But is this the only solution? Of course not. Let's take a look at the final box that we had placed. If we remove this box, we clearly end up with 50 boxes, but we still have the same side view, back view, and top view. So this is a solution, but it's not the only possibility. We could, of course, remove the box that was just behind that box. If we remove this box, we still end up with the same side, back, and top views. So this will be a 49 box solution. We can continue. We can also remove one box behind that. But why stop there? We could take this middle row of cubes, and this is a cube that we could also remove. Then we could remove the cube that's behind that. 
and we could remove the cube that is behind that. Now on the top layer, we can't remove any boxes. They're either going to affect the side or the back view. But if we take the middle layer, we can do the same sort of thing. We can remove any boxes that would be obscured by boxes on the side or the back. So if we were to take a box from this middle layer and remove it, we would end up with another solution. We can continue the process. We can remove any of the four boxes that are behind the box we just removed, and we would still end up one by one generating solutions. We can do the same thing for this middle row of boxes in the middle layer. We can remove up to five boxes without affecting the side or the back view, and we would still end up with solutions. So now we are at a solution of 35 boxes. In this configuration, every single box showing has a face that's exposed to the side, the back, or the top. So if we were to remove any boxes from this configuration, we would end up changing the view and that wouldn't be a solution. So you might think 35 is the minimum number, but in fact, there is another way to arrange the boxes to get a smaller answer. We can actually get down to 31 boxes. In order to do that, let me start all over with 21 boxes on the bottom layer. We know from the side view, we need a layer of six boxes that's stacked on top of the bottom layer, and we need a layer of four boxes that's on the top. So we know we need a minimum of six plus four, which equals 10 boxes. So let's illustrate a solution where we just add 10 boxes to fill up the views. The key is we are going to distribute the boxes so that we are also filling up the back view, which will show three boxes in the middle layer and three boxes in the top layer. If we stack the boxes strategically, we end up doing just that. So here's a solution with 31 boxes. So I think this is the minimum number. As I've suggested before, we need 21 boxes on the bottom layer to act as a base to stack boxes on top of it. Then we know we need six boxes on the middle layer and four boxes on the top layer minimum. So 21 plus six plus four, which equals 31 boxes. And we've illustrated a solution. This isn't a mathematical proof, but I think this would logically justify why 31 boxes is minimum. But maybe you found a solution. Please let us know. Now, of course, we could add one box to get to 32, one box to get to 33, one box to get to 34, and one more to get to 35. So we now have illustrated all solutions between 31 boxes and 51 boxes. So I think the correct answer to this puzzle is there are between 31 and 51 boxes inclusive. What an interesting puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.